Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm dealing with uh, Chucker Bird and I explained in my uh, this in a video I did earlier Chucker are a partridge that was transplanted in Nevada and I, I think they have them in other states too but anyways they do really well in the high desert and I did, I've got in the canning pot as you can hear in the background it's starting to come up to pressure uh, I've got <coughs> seven quarts of uh, chucker picante sauce that'll go over rice um, and this, I, I was going to make chili verde with this and I still am going to do that recipe but I'd rather get this processed quickly and it doesn't look like I would get to it until day after tomorrow. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start processing by, I'm going to grind this up and we'll have ground truck chucker for burgers, tacos, um, I can can it then, I can do however I want to do it. So I have my handy dandy uh, KitchenAid. If you guys didn't know, this is one of the best investments you could possibly do for yourself. I went all these years without one, and I don't, I don't know how I ever lived without it. It does everything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep that hopper pushing down and neat and get this ground up. The other thing I wanted to say was, um, you know, right now, turkeys, because it's right before Thanksgiving, the turkeys are on sale really, really reasonable. And, uh, you know, ground turkey, I pay pretty much all the time about two twenty nine a pound. So, wouldn't it make sense to have ground turkey at a better price like 49 cents a pound that would be amazing so you can do your own and be really cost efficient for your family and that's kind of my plan I'm going to try my hand at um, devoting part of the first bird and doing some ground turkey and then uh, wow how easy that was that took me all of five minutes now there's no fat I'm going to take part of this and make breakfast sausage, probably half of it I'll make breakfast sausage and the other half I'm just going to package up and we'll use it for tacos or spaghetti or some kind of treat like that. Alright, so I hope this inspires you to do some of your own meat grinding. If you have a, I have a hand grinder and I also have a full um, grinder and then this attachment and they're all really easy. This is probably the easiest one to clean up though I will have to say um, because it's such a small amount of things to clean. So I've got one package that I'm going to put in the freezer and that will be used for tacos or something like that. Um, or just burgers. They make great burgers too. The other thing I wanted to tell you, because there is no fat in here, I'm going to add some olive oil. So there's a little bit of fat content, so when you do fry up your sausage, you're not, um, it's not just sticking and dry out, because it will be really dry if you don't do this. Chuckers are very, very lean meat. So, I'm going to grab my little spatula here to kind of get that started mixing up. <coughs> okay. And this is a seasoning blend that I get at Sportsman's Warehouse. I think Cabela's also carries it. If you have one of those in your neighborhood. We, we got one a couple years ago. Anyway, I'm going to put a good healthy tablespoon of that. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. Yeah. <coughs> And then we're going to put some, about a teaspoon of fennel seed. You don't want too much. You just want that hint of the fennel coming through. And then I've got marjoram. And I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of that. 
One of my favorite spices, thyme. I love thyme. Especially love it when I have time to do this. So two teaspoons of thyme. For that. <coughs> and I'm guessing that's about two pounds of meat. Now, you want to make sure that you get poultry seasoning in here I, or rub sage. I, I'm out of sage, I, which I honestly can't believe. So I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of the poultry seasoning, which it lends itself so well to any kind of poultry. And that's what we're dealing with, so that's what we want to do. And then I've got some dried parsley here. This is for pretty color, and parsley is so very good for you. You've got to have it. <clears throat> And then, again with the garlic, a good tablespoon of garlic powder. Now you can patty these up, you can make links out of these, you can do whatever you want. Um, we like to leave it loose like this for the most part, just because then my options are bigger. I can make sausage biscuits for the guys for breakfast for their hunting trips, which is probably what I'm going to do this week. Um, I'm going to grab a glove and get that mixed up really good. I'll be right back. mixed really well. You can actually run it, run it back through the grinder if you want, but I've already cleaned up all my stuff. I don't want to do that. Now I am going to take uh, a little sample. I'll um, make a little patty and sample it and make sure I've got the right blend. Not too much of anything. If it's too strong, I'll have to put the rest of my sausage back in. Oh, the other ingredient I'm missing are red pepper flakes, so i got to get those. You don't need a lot. They do, they do quite well with just a few. So a couple of sprinkles there. You can use this sausage on... Alright you guys, I'm going to finish this up, let you see how it came out. It's beautiful. And take a bite. It smells fabulous. And it's like a, a ground chicken. It's lean and white meat, so... Wow. Perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, I do hope this inspires you to try make your own sausage. I'm gonna actually, now that I've tasted it, that sausage is gonna go in my Thanksgiving stuffing. And there you go. I'll see you next time. God bless.